Uh, Fast and Furious. The Fast and the Furious. Uh, yeah. What'd you think of that? Uh, okay. Where? <laughs> so I've been talking about this begin? for a while, <laughs> and you have not wanted to watch it at Never. all. Okay. So, now that you've seen so, it. So, okay. Here we are. There are, are, what, nine of these movies? Eight of these movies? Thirty? Eight. Yeah. Eight. For some reason, in my lifetime, I never saw any of them except Too Fast, Too Furious. I don't know why okay. we had it on DVD, but we did. I watched it a couple times. It feels like a Dante movie. It probably was. Um... So I never watched them. I never really had a desire because I'm not I'm not huge into cars, so racing and stuff doesn't yep. really I don't really care for it. And then but I mean the first one always seemed fine. But then as the yep. franchise grew and grew and turned into whatever the ridiculousness it is now, I it just made yep. me like that much want to just stay away from it. And yeah. so here we are. I have watched two of these awful movies now, and well, I'm the worst person for it. What do you think of the f- the first one? So I okay. You didn't like so, it. The first one was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It wasn't ridiculous. Yeah. It to me, it was just boring because, like I said, it's mm, that's not my thing. So yeah. Uh, I hate to say this because I don't like to speak ill of the dead, but Paul Walker is a really bad actor. Yeah, he and I. Kn- that's that's what I got from this one. Watching it this time, so I haven't seen the first one for a long time. Right. I saw it when it first came out, and I liked it. It felt you know new ish, but now they've used that similar format so many times, where it's just like if it kind of felt um, played out or old. But I really noticed how bad Paul Walker was in acting in this one. I was like, oh, this is rough. And it didn't help that it seemed like all his lines were no. ADR, like recorded oh, yeah, after the say, fact. Everything felt delayed. I don't know if that was mm. the editing or just like it takes him like a good second to remember his line each time. But like whenever he's having yeah. this conversation with someone, someone will say something. And then there's like a pause and then he like responds and it, it like it started driving me nuts. I'm like, do you not know your lines or are you just like dim witted? What is going on in this movie? Is your character a dum dum? I don't get it. <laughs> and it was driving me crazy. Yeah. Well, why don't you break down the premise of this one? What's I'm the gonna premise try, of the Fast and the Furious? Uh, I, I hopefully I don't. It might blend a little bit with the second one. Um, okay, no. so the premise is there is Paul Walker, and he is a cop, and yes. he is also a race car kind of, or not a race car driver, but a, a street racer. That's one of yeah. his specialties. So, although it's not really, he's not good at it in the first movie. Yeah, no, he's really see not in the. In the very beginning, he's practicing and he like spins out when his car gets going too fast. And but he is interested in it. He's just not very good at it yet. Right now, Vin Diesel plays Dom, or should mm-hmm. I say, dumb? And <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I mean, I, you have no idea how long it took me to think of that one. Uh, he is like uh. A, I'm not even really. I couldn't tell you what his crimes are, other than he's he's a criminal. He's running some kind of yeah, shady well, organization. Beat, uh, yeah, he's killed someone. He he didn't kill him, but he he beat with him a pipe close to or death. A wrench or something. That's with, fine with a socket wrench. But that's not like what he's currently doing. I don't understand what he's currently no. doing. Like he's a he's a thief. Yeah, they're robbing trucks. Uh, trucks. Of like DVD players or something like that. Yeah, well, DVD players back in the day were expensive. Yeah, I, it just like felt, now you could go get a DVD player funny. for 15 bucks. But back then, they were like $200 a piece. We're going to rob like, this truck for I don't know if you Walkmans. noticed. 
the technology, but like they had all, all those old crappy computers mm. and uh, the flip phones and oh, yeah. <laughs> like everything was so dated. It was because this came out two thousand one. Um, and it, 2001. It's, it's very much ago. has the, that early 2000s feel to it. Like, not mm-hmm. not necessarily like the technology, but just there's something about that era of action movies that is, uh, to me, is so dumb. I like it's just like it like it wants to be like a real cool casual type of thing. I don't know. I don't know yeah. if that makes sense, but like a real laid back chill cool you know that's how your main character's got to be and i don't know so i, w- I want to say that vin diesel seems like one of the worst like crime bosses because he lets this cop in with like little to no background vetting and on yeah. top of that i i feel like he would e- keep an even more watchful eye on this guy because he's getting with his sister and he's just like yeah, yeah. completely oblivious to Paul Walker's background. I I don't know. I it just felt lazy to me. I was like, well, this is probably he's probably not a mm-hmm. good criminal. Like he probably doesn't make that much money. He's not like one of the well known criminals. He's just dumb. He's 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 <laughs> yeah. careless. Is is what I mean. Yeah. Um. So, they. So that bothered me. I mean, he does have a lot of nice cars, and they they're pretty successful at robbing trucks. Yeah, but see, to me, nice car is like a very mm, opinion based statement because to me, all those cars More expensive look cars stupid. then. <laughs> they're expensive okay. cars that yes they that's not subjective no no that's true but like i see these and i actually i like the cars in the first one i would take any of them i, I don't like cars that look like they're toy like hot wheels like the ridiculous no. colors and the designs and the the what about the charger did you like the charger i'm trying to remember was that i, I that was the one he did a wheelie in in the end. <sighs> that was dumb. Uh, I want to <laughs> say, I don't know, <laughs> this car that he was afraid of. It's because it killed his dad. That's fine. Just don't be careless. Don't drive like that. that but here we are true. doing freaking wheelies because you're so scared of this car. <laughs> um. Well, that's just because the torque is so high. Yeah, I want to say I think I liked Paul Walker's car. Maybe I don't remember though. It's I don't remember what these cars look the like. The green one or the red one? Oh, never mind. Did someone have an orange one? <laughs> <laughs> uh maybe Paul Walker had an orange uh, one. In my head, it's red, but maybe it's orange. I don't know. Either way, yeah. he, it's this world of street racing and stealing, and Paul Walker is an undercover cop. And I don't feel like he's really that good of a cop. He seems no. <laughs> he he comes off as like a dirty cop, but we don't actually see him really do anything dirty. But you know he's doing yeah. something. That's yeah. that's that was my take. Um, another thing that bothered me was uh, so at the beginning they're doing that first street race, right? Mm-hmm. And they have the with jaw rule, <sighs> yeah. They, <laughs> they, it was weird because they had Ja Rule and then they had him his, his song playing? playing at the same time. Oh, that yeah. was so stupid! Oh my <laughs> gosh! But so they had someone on the police scanner, right? Like listening yes. for the cops. That's fine. I get that. Yep. It, it's so dumb at the at the end of that race. They start getting the reports, right? They're like, oh, uh, we got a call on some street racing. And they're like, oh, the cops. And then, like, the cops are there. I'm like, hold mm-hmm. on. You, they just now got the call. How are they already there? It's as if the call was just... Uh, uh, it was so stupid. It just... Uh, little dumb things like that bother me in, in movies that I already don't want to watch. 
Yeah. Eh. Well, here's my question about that. When the cops show up, yeah. how many people do you think they catch? Oh. Like, is like their job two. mostly just to scatter them? Yeah. Or do they actually capture anybody? Because it didn't seem like they did. In all these movies, the cops are, like, useless. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think... I don't know. I guess maybe just to break it up. Uh, I, but, yeah, they're useless. But they most of the effects, most of the stunts in this movie were practical, which I really appreciated. Uh, I thought they did a really good job with this one. <laughs> there was a few times when in the with the NOS when they would like oh, make that's it go right. more surreal. That's what I wanted to say. This was just one long ad for NOS. Yeah. The drink. Pretty much. I mean, you remember when, yeah, when uh, this came out? That's like, then they started putting it in all the video games mm-hmm. and it's like nos was gotta get that so... nos bro <laughs> hey yo why are my car with nos <clears throat> do you ever go to any street racing stuff i've never been to any street race no it was i remember it was like really popular when i was in like junior high yeah like i knew a lot of people who would go but yeah, i that's never about the time this movie came out yeah i never went to anything I, like, I knew a lot of people who would go, and I was always like, ooh, that seems dangerous. Because people were dying. There's like, a lot of people crashing, like, crashing into the audience, or people watching and stuff yeah. like that. It was, like, really bad. Yeah, no, it's and, stupid, uh, for sure. There's a reason it's yeah. illegal. Yeah. Uh, No, I just, I'm not, I'm not into racing, so I don't, none of that interests me. No. So, uh, uh, hmm. I don't know. So Paul Walker is is in with Vin Diesel's gang because he like helped him get away from the cops. It's family. It's f- yeah, family. They're, f- they're family. Too. All of a sudden, um, and he's hooking up with his sister, or dating his sister, or something with his sister. Mm-hmm. Um, and then so Vin Diesel's planning a big like one big uh, heist at the end. Where they're gonna rob a a truck, and, which I assume has got some like a Walkman and some some cassette players, uh, <laughs> Tamagotchis and Furbies, <laughs> loads and loads of Tamagotchis, <laughs> uh, stuff like that. Yeah, and and that that last yeah that whole set piece was actually done really well. I thought the. With the guy getting stuck on the side, yeah, no, that and I his did. arm getting all tangled yeah, that up. I thought was was interesting. Like, uh, I, I mean, it was cool enough, I guess. Oh man, it, I don't. Wait, which one is Mia? Mia was. Was that the sister? Is it the sister? Or was that um, Michelle Rodriguez? No, that was the friend. The sister was Jordana. Letty is Michelle Rodriguez. Yeah, Jordana Brewster. Yeah, Jer- Jordana Brewster. All breezy. You don't like Jordana Brewster? Like in real life? No, she's fine. Like she's not. Yeah, on uh, welcome on Twitch. Oh. All br- all breezy is saying. <laughs> oh, okay. I got to know. Yeah. Uh, I, didn't... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind her. I didn't. I didn't think she was. A problem in this one no do you not like her in all of them or just this one all breezy oh wait so she's in more spoilers oh sorry because i i assume that she died between the first and second one since there's no mention of her though well, there's no mention of really anyone other than the black cop in the second one but yeah. we'll, we'll save that for save we'll talk it. About the second one so oh I I mean, that's really all I got. It's not a lot. Yeah. So they, like I was saying, that that last action set piece with the truck, I thought the stakes felt really high, especially getting um, the guy stuck on the the truck mm-hmm. and uh, getting having to save him off of that. I thought was you know really compelling moment. 
Although every time the car got shot with Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel's reaction was really weird. I don't recall. Did you notice uh-uh. that? He was he like this it seemed like he was getting a spanking. Is the best way I could describe it every time his car got shot. <laughs> He's like, oh <laughs> like it's just very strange reaction to your car getting shot with a shotgun. Um but yeah, so you find out that he, Paul Walker, has been betraying them by being a cop and like, you know, investigating them, but he gives all that up to save Vince's life, who is the guy who hated him the whole time. Yeah. And the I I think the story is better than the acting <laughs> was. Like it was all pretty good, but this I don't maybe it's just a product of the time. Maybe that's the biggest thing. If you watch this when it first came out, maybe this movie is a lot better. It's definitely but now it's just not time, aged yeah. aged as well. No. But, uh, all breezy. All breezy. What do you what's your overall opinion other than you not liking Mia's face? Do you like the movie or you think it holds up, doesn't hold up? Cuz uh if I was going to pick on anyone's face in these movies, it would definitely be Letty, Michelle oh, Rodriguez. Oh yeah, but that's just I her cannot face. I cannot stand her. Anytime she's in anything, I'm just like oh, I'm at that point I'll, with her I'll too. Pass. It's, it's, she's not good. No, because she always is the same character of like, sassy, proving that she's yeah. strong. Yeah, which is fine, but like it's it just feels like you're trying really, really hard to prove that you're a strong woman. And it's similar to Vin Diesel. I feel like Vin Diesel every time he's on screen is just proving that he's a strong person. But I don't think that's really his personality in real life. You don't think so? Like he's a, no, he's like a Dungeons and Dragons nerd, which is not a problem. But I feel like the movies always try to play some huge problem, play him off like this, (laughs) play him off like this, you know, super tough sports action guy. And I don't think that's anything to like who he is in real life. Like Paul Walker is actually really in, uh, or was into racing cars and into cars and all that stuff. Right. Uh, all breezy says this movie holds up because what the franchise has become Classico Cause it started at all. I love this franchise. I, I think this franchise Ugh. is very similar to mission impossible uh, as a franchise where uh, it doesn't hold up like Jurassic Park. All Breezy says it doesn't hold up like. No, I agree with that. Jurassic Park is a classic because it was. It's a that's a great horror movie, but this is like a fun, goofy, uh, stunt showcase, similar to Mission Impossible. But not the you f- give up not the on the first this. one. Mission Impossible. No, for for Fast and Furious, there was nothing goofy like you can no, no, tell I'm saying, it thought it was cool no i'm saying the as a franchise the entire thing yeah the when you watch it you're watching a, a stunt showcase you'll see as we continue on the getting further into the movies they really put all the effort into the stunts and the big moments and um life finds a way guys oh, oh yeah there it is. jurassic park um the uh it's all focused on that and it's you give up on the story you give up on you know caring about the characters and all this different stuff I did. for <laughs> for those like spectacular moments of these things i i'm ready for vin diesel to move on from this franchise and give it over to the rock and jason statham i know a lot of people think that their spin-off movie is going to be bad but <laughs> They're the best part of of the. Just because it's part of the. They're. No, they're the best part of the latest movie. I can't. I still. I cannot wait to show you the airplane scene with Jason Statham and the baby. It's my. It's the best action scene of all time. It's my favorite. I. There's nothing better. It's so hard. The, The way that you're so critical of like every movie, it seems, and especially of things that I like. I, I, the way you talk about this, I can't <laughs> tell if you're being serious, and I feel like no, I'm being you're serious, building it up to be I, this like huge you, thing, and then gonna be like it's the worst scene I've ever seen in my life. 
no it's so good but to say like like you're saying i i'm i am really critical of movies and stuff like that but i just said you give up on story you you say you know what story doesn't matter characters don't matter it's only about the stunts but i it's similar to work for me i i generally don't enjoy that but things like this and mission impossible i'm more on board for because the first movies this one and mission impossible one started out pretty good like as a, a decent story like now it doesn't doesn't hold up as well in my opinion but it was still pretty good at the time and it eases you into the ridiculousness of it all i don't know i i don't like giving up on story story is the only thing that keeps me going oh you just wait wait until we get to number five and you'll be I don't, like who I'm needs not story comfortable. With the fact that you're so confident we're going to keep watching these movies, I really don't want to watch these movies. We're going to keep watching them. We're going to keep watching them. They're so dumb. They're so boring. They're not that dumb. No, they're not boring. They're boring. They're definitely not boring. They're dumb, but they're not boring. To me, they are boring. I just watched watched, um, uh, Need for Speed. I just did a podcast with Rin's Reviews this week on Need for Speed. And that was really bad. These are way better than that. I don't know. Anytime there's like a race, I'm like, ugh, snooze fest. But as we go on, those races don't really happen anymore. It doesn't. It's not just street racing. It's a. It's they're superhero movies. Is what they become. Ugh. It's the greatest superhero franchise of all time. Fast and Furious. I don't know. Greater than Blank Man. <laughs> Well, that's only that's a single movie, right? It's not really a franchise. Ugh, if only. If Blank Man had more movies, then it would be a contender. But uh, what do you? What's your opinion? What do you rate Fast and the Furious from negative five being you hated your whole life and you feel like the, the movie owes you to positive five being the best thing ever and that it just it you you feel recharged. Your life is better for it. I'm gonna give it a negative one. Oof. It's That's rough. I never want to watch it again, but it wasn't as bad yeah. as I thought it was going to be, but the acting was just so dumb. And I just found I'm, almost none of it believable. I would I might give it a 2. Really? Based off of it being the catalyst to the whole franchise. And the introduction to the characters I felt like was pretty solid. You you kind of know them really well based off of this movie, even though it's it's a little goofy and that you know the can be a little ridiculous. But I, I don't know. I, I don't hate this movie. I I didn't like it as much this time as I've ever liked it before. But it's still still decent. I I feel like my ratings are only gonna decrease as we go on. No, I'm telling you, man, they get better. The number three is a dark time. Oh, I'll give you that. Boy, number three is a little rough, but little Bow Wow is in it. Oh, so that, geez. If that helps. Uh, isn't it just Bow Wow now? <laughs> well, yeah, he grew up. I, did he change his name to Bark? <laughs> did happens? he really? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Barky Bark. He should. Barky Bark and the Funky Bunch. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you're listening to this on the podcast or watching on YouTube. Next week we'll be out with our fast and our two fast too furious review. If you're on Twitch, we're gonna start that in a minute here. But you can follow us on Twitter at I seen that pod, like us on Facebook, and uh, you can uh, help us out over on Patreon. Whoever has the least amount of votes at the end of the month has to pay a punishment. Oh, and I'm gonna make you. And pay at the for time, <laughs> at the time of recording this, Taylor is winning by two votes, so it's probably gonna end up being me. Which uh, is disappointing again. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll be back with uh, Too Fast, Too Furious. Woo!